Hi, I'm Mark, Oakland University Class of 86 and a university newspaper photographer back when Greg Campy first joined OU as the men's head basketball coach. Hey, that's me. I don't normally talk about my alma mater because this is a woodworking channel after all, but I wanted to offer up some of my old photos from Coach Campy's early days at Oakland and talk about his 40 amazing years with OU basketball. Hi everybody, Patty Cesarini, and I am here with Coach Campy after him, his staff, and his team were crowned Horizon League champions. Coach, you're going dancing. How are you feeling? I got two fake knees and two fake hips, but I'm going to see what I can do out there, man. I'll tell you. <laughs> OU is a modest-sized Michigan college with annual enrollment between 12 and 13,000 students. It's about a quarter of the size of Michigan State or the University of Michigan, but the campus supports an amazing list of men's and women's athletic programs. They attract student athletes from all over Michigan and the Midwest, but it's the basketball program under Greg Campy that has been in the spotlight for the past few decades. Before taking over the men's basketball team, Oakland floundered under the program's first four coaches, touting only 185 wins in 17 years, with 257 games lost. Almost immediately following Campy joining the program, the OU basketball team gained momentum, invested more time in recruiting, and began to show results in real terms of wins and losses. After 10 years of program growth and better performance on the court, Campy's teams began to compete in the NCAA Division II championship tournaments, and then eventually progressed to D1 in 1997. It took a few more years to win that all-important invitation to the big dance, but those rewards began in 2005. With their last invitation to the tournament back in 2011, does Coach Campy have any thoughts on opportunities lost? I think of all the young men that I've coached that didn't get to play in this thing, and you know, I, I, three NBA players that didn't get to play in it. And, uh, it's so hard to get there. As a student photographer, I loved getting the basketball assignment for the newspaper because Coach Campy and the team were putting heart and soul into each and every game, even back in those early days. While he often deflects praise back towards the talented kids on his team, he should be proud of his own coaching accomplishments as well. 40 years with the same NCAA D1 basketball team and a consistent winning record? That's crazy talk. Unheard of. Unsustainable unless you're Greg Campy. So thanks very much, Coach, for all you do for the kids and the campus and even us old alumni. We yearn for the start of the 2024 NCAA tournament, and we expect that you'll be wearing your best dancing shoes. We're underdogs, but still pretty stoked that you helped bring another team to the dance floor. Our original group of feature and sports photographers kind of wish we were of college age again, with cameras in tow, sharing the journey with you. Oh, and nice form cutting down that Horizon Tournament Championship net.